Hey everyone, how you doing? Tarantula Dan here. Just a very quick intro. I know some of you don't like it when I do this, but a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, very quickly, uh, thank you for checking out this video. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. That really does help me and my channel out and subscribe so that you don't miss my future uh, content. I produce videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays at 6pm here in the UK, plus something a little bit different on Thursdays. I want to apologise for the lighting in this video and it's actually because of the filming in this video that made me realise I needed to get a light. So I do have a light here. I'm currently using it uh, for a uh, time lapse video of Zelda, my Lassie Dora Power High Banner, the Brazilian Salmon Pink Bird Eater who is molting um, my GoPro and everything set up. And so hopefully you'll check that out. Um, so yeah, I apologise for the lighting. I do have a light now, um, but it was pre-filmed. So I will do an update on the communal with this in the future. Uh, with what I said, hope you enjoyed the video and take care. Okay then everyone, so this is the update on my communal. Now it is a bit of a mess, but there is a reason for that which I'm going to go through now and try and keep this as short as possible. So, yeah, this is the communal. I introduced uh, various different invertebrates to it, see how they would live together and things like that. And I'm very happy to say that it's going well. Um, it looks a little bit tidy because I've literally just been digging this up for a good reason. So. Basically, not too long ago, um, the female flower beetle, of the, which this is the male, he's alive and well as you can see. Uh, the female did die sadly uh, about two weeks ago. Um, maybe just under a week and a half, two weeks ago. So that was a shame. Um, I wasn't sure why, but I would put it down to the fact that every time that I looked at the beetles, um, they were busy. <laughs> shall we say, um, I mean constantly, um, he was always, always with her in that way, uh, if you know what I mean, um, beating around the bush for the sake of the younger people watching, so yeah, I put it down to basically she was exhausted and she died, which is a shame, um, but I was digging through last night, just getting some little bits out and things like that, and I found one of these, if I can actually find one, there we go, so this here is a beetle grub, um, and of course these will continue to eat and will then pupate and emerge as a beetle. So if I just pop that in there, you can see it, it's a decent size, um, that one I'll dig and disappear, looks like me swimming, <laughs> um, so yeah, there are eight, eight of those uh, larva, I have been trying to look for eggs but I couldn't find any, and that's why this has been basically upturned because I literally went as far down as I could and I'm sure there's probably some more in there that I've missed but you know I it's I didn't want to sort of I don't want to empty it out completely so yeah the beetles did breed successfully the female did die of I would say sexual exhaustion but I have at least eight larva at the moment so that's really really good I'm really really pleased with that um, the second death that I had in the my collection was one of the pill bugs. I lifted up a log and I found it and it was dead. Um, limp and just very dead, which was a shame. And I was like, oh, that's, you know, this isn't looking very good kind of thing. Um, but today whilst digging through and, just, you know, looking at um, things, I found this. Uh, this is one of the two. This one is still alive. You can tell that because the, um, well, it's curled up in a ball. Uh, the other one, when it died, was all open and floppy, if that makes sense. Like, you know, the muscles weren't working to get it to curl up like that. So, um, 
yeah, so one of them died, but this one is alive and well. Let's place that in a little hole just down there and kind of bury it a bit. Um, yeah, that's kind of crap, you know, that that happened. But then, whilst looking today, I found this. Now, I don't know how well... I haven't got my macro lens uh, to show you this, but... Okay, then, I think this is probably the closest I can get to it without my macro lens. But, if I inch forward, bit by bit, that is a Pilberg egg. So, although the one did die, which is, of course, is a shame, uh... There is a you know an egg there. I believe I do actually have some more in here as well, some smaller ones. So um, yeah, uh, that is kind of the silver lining of this. Like, although I've had two adults die, I, I know I have a couple more. Um, so yeah, that's the pill bug and the beetles. Um, I've also got a spider in here. And it is just there on the glass. So I'm going to be really careful of the spider because if it bites me, it's going to kill me and kill my family and everyone that I know and love will be killed and eaten by this murderous, vicious spider. Is what the newspapers would say if this spider were to get out. But this probably is only like a like an old beaver or something. It's obviously nothing that I'm worried about because oops Daisy I think I've just bounced it off. I have. Oops. I think I just sort of flicked it and it's just gone um in there somewhere. But yeah so I have a stray spider. Don't know what it is, not really a problem. Um the wood lice. Uh you can see there's two here. Um are doing really 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 well um, when I was digging up and I was looking underneath uh, like I don't know if I can whether there be any on here now uh, but on sort of the logs and things when I when I dug it out there were loads and loads of little baby uh, wood lice and things um, but yeah so it's kind of doing really really well better than I expected um, and even though I've had those two, those two deaths in it, um, there isn't really a lot that I could have done about that. And the reason that I ended up um, checking in the first place, I was in the Discord group talking to um, uh, Big Sea Dog, and I was just telling him about the videos that I'm working on, and decided to sort of have a look and. That's what I didn't realize that the beetle pupa, uh, sorry, beetle larva will eat the pupa, which is, um, I didn't know that. So I decided to kind of, decided to dig it up and try and get as many of them out as I could. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find, it's typical that I say there's loads of babies and then when I come to actually look, I can't actually find any to show you. I guess you're going to have to just take my word for it on this occasion. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of Spanish wood lice. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is uh, speaking, I was talking to Kim, and I'm going to be putting in an order. Oh, the spider's back. Don't worry, mate, I ain't going to bother you again this time. My camera would focus. There it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be putting in order with um, Virginia Cheeseman in the near future um, for a bunch of. Let's grab this one to get some millipedes. This is the um, rainbow millipede. The camera's not focusing very well today at all for some reason. There we go. So I looked at maybe getting some uh, 
different varieties of millipede and then keeping them all in here as well the millipedes are awesome so I'll just place that onto there and it can exit me at its own speed there's no rush so yeah um, I guess that's sort of the main things I want to, wanted to talk about in this video uh, in regards to how the community is doing like I said it looks really really messy at the moment because I have just kind of I've just took out all of the bark and stone things to uh, dig it up to try and find some of the uh, beetle lava like I said I have eight so that's why it's kind of really messy but at the same time it's kind of meant to be a bit of a wild thing anyway so you know that's fine um, I'll be putting some more food in for the you know things like the, the, the lice and things and yeah um, I mean it was like I said it was much more beautiful before and I've killed that plant that closed which you know fair enough everything else is alive and well and is going nicely uh, this plant's doing really well so um, yeah I will be adding some more things to this very very soon and of course I will be giving you all updates regularly so if there's anything that you'd like me to do involving this then let me know um, ooh, 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 ooh. no no that little white dot there come on focus It's a baby woodlouse. <laughs> it's typical. <laughs> yeah, there's just a like one little baby woodlouse. Um, so yeah, if there's um, a certain video that you'd like to do with this, then let me know. Um, I do want to get a time lapse of this, but everything kind of went into borrowing mode and nothing was happening. So maybe once I've got the new additions in and things, then I will do a time lapse video that could be quite cool so yeah I guess that is it for now in involving this video um, ooh, that's a big wood loves that's a female I bet you she is she's quite big and I say that I mean she looks like she's probably carrying lots of little baby woodlouse. I kind of feel it's really strange having a woodlouse as a pet. And my camera's just being terrible at uh, focusing. Go on. Go and have babies. So yeah. Um, I just want to give you guys all an update on this and you know I mean if you if I sit here and watch you can see there's wood, lots of wood lights that, that are crawling around so I could do a time lapse to be fair I might work on that and things so so yeah that's I look at this uh, the main thing is that there are beetles and the pill bug uh, baby so hopefully in the future I will have more pill bugs and more beetles uh, that would be really really awesome um, and thinking about it I'm gonna get that spider out because I don't want I don't really want this spider to eat any of my lava or babies of anything It tickles. Okay, then we'll end this video here. Um, yeah, let me know what you'd like me to do involving this communal in the near future. And of course, uh, any requests that you have involving this, uh, like I said, let me know. And uh, please check out the description. There are plenty of links and goodness down there, so please check that out. And. Of course, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I work on lots of videos. I upload uh, at least twice a week. 
and three times if I'm working on something unrelated to my animals. And yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll see you all soon in the next video.